Thank you, Dr. Tulumbekar. Uh, as Dr. Tulumbekar very rightly said, we need a lot of uh, treatment points in the center, uh, in the country. There needs to be more places where treatment can be made available. And that's exactly what our NGO does. Uh, so if you're a de-addiction center, as ma'am had already asked a question before, so if you're a de-addiction center and one is ready to keep the books and register, the patients you can you can be a de-addiction center. So we uh, can definitely enroll you up on our website. So let me give a brief background as to what we do on uh, sorry uh, on the website. Um, the the NGO is called Dependence Free Life Foundation. Uh, it helps patients connect. Uh, it helps connect the patients who are. Uh, addicted to drugs, alcohol, and smoking. Uh, the website is called www.dependencefreelife.org. How did we come up with this idea? Uh, I see, as a young person, I see a lot of uh, ads or com campaigns which say, say no to drugs, don't drink and drive, these, um, you, know, you know, smoking is injurious to health, but they never give you the solution to it. What, what if you are addicted? And as a... And as a very young person, I, I really do not know. I, if I was addicted to drugs, alcohol, or smoking, I really don't know where I should go to. And I would go to a GP or my family doctor who would not be even qualified to you know, um, treat me for my indication. So we did a small survey as an NGO. We did a small survey as to like what, are the, what does a common drug addict want? What are the four questions? That he wants to be uh, wants them to be answered. It is, I'm a victim of addiction. I want to give up my addiction. So he wants to know what is addiction. First of all, how addicted am I? Can I test my dependence level? Can I be treated? Or most importantly, where can I find treatment? DFL helps answer all those questions. So what it does is basically it's a website that connects patients, family, friends to qualified doctors in the city. It connects the friends, family to qualified doctors. It's anonymous. We do ask patients to register on our website, but the website does not ask any identifying questions like name, um, his address, telephone number, nothing. So it is anonymous and that's very, very important for a patient. A uh, young person like me who's working in a company would never want to like give up his uh, identity. And that's what we do. We give them a patient code, and that's about it. And he's identified by that. It's 24-7. It's confidential. No, uh, no information about the patient is shared by anybody else. To keep up with the busy pace of life, we help the patient find the treatment at a location convenient to them. We also educate both the patient, family members, relatives, friends of patients about the harmful effects of drug, alcohol, and smoking dependence. That's the website. It basically has um, the parent section, uh, which is quite important. I'll go through it in a bit. Uh, we have the patient section. We have the doctor section. As an NGO, we would also encourage people to like sign up. We are already getting a lot of um, volunteer requests. Testimonials. People can post their testimonials and serve as a motivation for other people to um, you know, give up their addiction. Uh, a little bit more about the NGO and you can contact us here. That's basically the registration process. Um, the patient logs on to the website, he selects a state, he fills in a brief uh, st form and then he gets his unique DFL ID which is the patient and he gets the address of the doctor and he contacts the doctor and that's how you start the treatment. So at no point we are asking him for his name. He can do this anytime he wants anonymously. His parents don't need to know that, that he's addicted. He can do it on his own. So that's what we enable him through this website. So DFL provides the patient the access to connect to qualified doctors across the country. Now we know people are traveling. They are working. They want to, from Bombay, they'll go to Delhi. We want to connect them through our DFL grid in Delhi. Uh, through a qualified doctors and when he goes to that doctor the doctor through this website He has a central database. He will be able to uh, access the patient's prescription history 
and continue the right form of dosage. So that's what we allow them to do. We also monitor the patient's progress history, which tracks the dosage of the patient that is done through our website. Uh, so it's not just a it's not just a website that connects the patient to the doctor. It does all this. It keeps a central database uh, which tracks the dosage. It tracks the side effects. That's more important for pharmacovigilance also. Nowadays, uh, the DCGI the, has asked all the pharma companies to keep pharmacovigilance on all the drugs that are prescribed. Any abnormal behavior, any related information about the patient, we also have a patient appointment management system which tells the patient that, you know, it gives reminders to them via SMS automatically and this increases patient compliance. They also have e-learning sessions where patients, parents get information anonymously on all issues concerning addiction. So they don't need to go to their family GP and give up their, the fact that their kid is addicted. So that's the main point about this whole website. More interestingly, we have also launched this, as Dr. Atul Ambekar had mentioned, there are uh, dependence level tests. One of them um, for drug is DAST, uh, audit for alcohol and then smoking. People can take this anonymously and they have been taking it anonymously on our website. As you can see, we have come up with, we have been tracking it, um, a total of 2,486 people have taken the test, of which female are 125, uh, male are 2,287, undisclosed, they didn't want to tell us. Total number of teenagers between the age group who have taken the test on our website is 432. These are, these, this, this gives an indication as to how much the teenage population is getting addicted and this number is just going to grow as um, more and more people take the test on our website. Smoking, we have the FTND. The maximum number of people who are taking tests are on this. That's 49% with an average score of 2.86. That's still a low level of addiction, but some people don't uh, take the test and they have a zero score, so that spoils the average. But in any case, the 284 teenagers have taken the test with an average score of 3.1, which is a low level of addiction, but uh, as we get more population taking the test, this will give us a true picture. For alcohol, 897, average score, which is 12.2, that's moderate to high level of addiction. 99 teenagers with the age of 13, 19, with an average score of 9.9. .9. And interestingly, for drug addiction, people are uh, taking the test, that's approximately 15%, Average score is 3.6, which is moderate level of addiction. 79 teenagers have taken the test, and that's again 3.5 is the score, which is a moderate level of addiction. What does the website provide to the doctor? The doctor, most importantly, patients. Patients is what uh, get linked to the doctor uh, who are registered on our website. It's a comprehensive, it's not just a website that does this, it's a comprehensive prescription management system. So with every session that the doctor has with the patient, he can use the website. We're coming up with like a mobile app also that will help the doctor to um, do this whole process very quickly. So every time he gives a prescription, it is recorded. And that records not just the dosage, it also records the side effects, abnormal behavior, any related any abnormal events that have happened during the session that the doctor feels that you know that, that has to be noted. Also, again, there's a patient appointment management system. There are patient appointment alerts that the doctor gets that uh, okay, the patient is coming to me at this time on on this date. So that's all done automatically by the website. There's an e-learning tool. This session will be put on YouTube, and you will have access to all the. Uh, good presentation that Dr. Tulambekar and Dr. Ravindra have uh, provided so that you can go back and see like what um, you know if you have missed anything. So that will be again available through our website. We also have a parent section um, which is not clearly visible here but it answers very basic questions. It really helps parents who are the most guiding force in a, in a child's life to really understand how to tackle with the situation because we get a lot of um, uh, messages from the doctors, from the parents, um, that how do I deal with the situation and that's when we tell them to go through this website, 
It tells you how to better understand kids, what are the telltale signs in kids uh, that will help you identify how to manage the conversation with your kids. And that's very, very important. And how do you seek help uh, if you realize that your conversation has, you know, uh, given you that, that your child has is addicted to some other form of uh, illegal substance. Now, the, the NGO as a whole is not just into treatment. What we also do is most importantly primary prevention, which is again, now we, have, we are partnering with Rotary Club, uh, where we are going to different schools and colleges and really spreading the awareness as to like giving it to PTA meetings that there is option available and you don't have to just go to your, you know, near a GP or something and you need to get treated with, um, uh, you know, qualified doctors actually. So um, we are partnering with Rotary Club. We we target parents. We are also targeting. We also want to work with anti-narcotic cell, the the police in the in the city, because um, they really deal with the supply side. They never really deal with the demand side, and that's what we're trying to. Uh, their the mindset is really changing. It's very positive, and that's why we're going to uh, work with them that when they go and bust these rave parties, uh, that's when you know parents really need to know how to get their patients to uh, uh, help their kids who are in these rave parties to a proper medication. So that's that and then we have the treatment. So if the primary prevention fails, then the treatment is the answer and most importantly is the after the treatment is rehab and you know the re preventing relapse. We are tying up with Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous to really deal with the whole situation. Rehab centers like Tripa Foundation, these are very necessary tools in the whole life cycle of an addict. Um, we are trying to do, uh, as a foundation, we are trying to do this uh, whole range of activities. Now, people might think, why internet? Why Not many people who are addicted use internet, but that's, uh, I mean, that's a really uh, mis big misconception as to the fact. McKinsey report just stated that there will be 330 million Indians on the internet by 2015, making it the second largest, most connected population in the world. Of the urban po social networking base of 40, 58 million, 20.3 million are from small towns. Towns having populations of up to 5 lakhs. The, the reach is intense with the amount of coverage that internet has. So that's why we chose this medium to reach out to the younger crowd, the younger generation, and now this is going into every age group. So that's why we chose internet. Some interesting facts that have come up on our internet is, since we launched on May 23rd uh, of this year, in 74 days since the launch of DFL has, <clears throat> we have Facebook NGO supporters, we are on Facebook, so the NGO supporters have already uh, climbed up to 8,000. We have website visitors of 18,762. Top three countries from where the visitors are coming are India, USA and Finland. Top areas, now since we're focusing our awareness campaigns only in Mumbai right now, we will uh, plan to launch the NGO in different cities. Top seven areas in India from where the visitors are coming are Mumbai, Pune, New Delhi, most importantly, Navi Mumbai, Thane, Kalyan, Meera Bhayandar, all the outer parts of Mumbai also. So that is definitely showing that the the demand for this kind of an information is intense. And uh, we also see that the top three most visited pages on the site are the patient registration form, parent section, and most importantly, the test your dependence level also. Um, it is a slow process. People are scared to register themselves on the website, uh, but we have had um, the total number of patients as of today that are registered on the website are 47. So this number will slowly increase and we want to create more points of treatment so that these uh, patients can go there. So we are on Facebook, we are on YouTube, we are on Twitter, we're trying to connect with the, uh, with the population who is becoming increasingly tech savvy. So that's what the whole uh, NGO does.